So I was thinking what to talk about today just now. And then I saw this out of the corner of my eye. It's a play called Almost Maine. And this past week I have been attending the rehearsals of the show at my old high school and just um, observing the show, giving them pointers and tips and stuff. It's been so great. I really have had a great week. But there's so much in this show, so much depth, so much to think about, about your life, about what I love and who I love, and oh, when I get thinking about that kind of stuff, it's exhausting. Love is exhausting. And it's terrifying. But why? Why is it so scary to people? Myself included. Like, why am I so scared of it? I don't know. It's because it's a huge risk. Everyone says, you know, love is worth the risk. It's worth it all. But when you've only had negative associations with it, why would you want to take that risk again? You know? When you've been shut down once, what's the, what's the point? But there's so many people in my life that I, I love, I genuinely love. Not in a romantic way, but just that common human condition. And you know that at least your family, you know, loves you and a few of my friends. And, well, I know Stephanie Gundert loves me because she wrote it on my ceiling. <laughs> well, the top of my shop, not really my ceiling. But whatever. <sighs> there was a line... I wanted to read. That kind of describes what I thought about this whole thing. Can you see my double chin? Mm -hmm. Hi. Sorry. I don't know where it is in the script, too. I am just marvelously flipping. But it's a great line, so it's definitely worth reading. There are things that hurt you, that make you bruised and bloody. And there are things that hurt you and don't make you bruised and bloody. And they all hurt. Such powerful lines. Mm, I think I've experienced more physical pain in my life than I have emotional <laughs> When I was a kid, I broke, like, everything. My hands, I broke uh, most of my fingers. I broke my growth plate. I have one arm shorter than the other. Don't tell anyone. Um, yeah, just a bunch of weird stuff I did when I was a kid. <laughs> it was awful. But, um, I think we all have our emotional baggage, our pain. <sighs> tell them how you overcome that thing accept it as part of your life, part of your journey, and don't think of it as something that's holding you back in any way, because it's really not. Everything that happens to us, everything that affects us in our life helps us, helps us to grow, helps us to become an amazing, powerful human being, because we all have the potential to become that person. All of us, I don't care, every single human being has the potential for greatness. It's up to us to realize that potential, to reach for it, and to not stop at anything to get there. That's what deems a person to be great. In my eyes. Well, that's my rant for the evening. I'm not going to be able to sleep now, because I'm thinking. When I think, I don't sleep. <sighs> I'll give it a shot anyway, though. Cool. Have a good night.